Hey guys, welcome back. So finally, Ancient OS 3.9 is officially available for Redmi Y2. The performance on this ROM is literally insane. It's one of the smoothest available custom ROM for Redmi Y2. The launcher especially is very smooth and it's lag free. Going to the about phone section. Here as you can see the ancient OS version is 3.9 and the device is Redmi S2. Scrolling down, you get Android 10 in this device and the security patch is 5th July. Kernel version is 4.9 Canon Plus. Going back, here as you can see all the button starts from the second half of the screen. This actually replicates the One UI and it makes a better experience. Going back, trying to make a call. As you can see the call just connected. Other than calling, even other functionalities are also working fine. Going back, going to ancient features. These are the features that you get exclusive to this ROM. Going to status bar, status bar icons, you can enable or disable icons that you want to see on your status bar. Going back, you can also change the voltage icon according to your preference. Scrolling down, here you get double tap to sleep option. Here you also get the option to change battery style to icon portrait, circle, circle dotted, circle filled and hidden. You can also hide the battery percentage completely. Going back, going to user interface, ancient OS theme, here you get general features that you get in other custom ROMs. Going to ancient header image, here you can set header image according to your requirement. Select static here. Now come down and go to pick images. You can pick any one of them and it will be set as your header image. Going back, you can also enable or disable darkness on your header image. Now as you can see, it's not dark at all. Now going back, you can change accent color, primary color, headline body font, icon shape and status bar icon. As you can see, changing them, I have made something like this. Scrolling down, here going to switch styles, you can change this style according to your preference. Scrolling down, you get background blur opacity option. If you reduce it completely, the UI looks something like this. The notification panel is transparent. Or, or if you enable it completely, the notification panel is completely opaque. Now coming down, here you also get an option called blur behind quick settings. If you enable it, you get a blur behind the quick settings. As you can see, it appears something like this. Now going back, going to a going to ancient display. Here you get always on, always on when charging, new notification, lift to check phone, hand wave, pocket, and many other options. In the bottom end, you also get an option to show battery percentage on bottom while dozing. Going back, going to quick settings, here you get options like quick pull down, smart pull down and other options. Scrolling down, you also get an option to enable gradient on your QS background. QS background is the background which you are seeing the white part now. Now scrolling down, going to customize footer, you can add any of the text that you like on your QS panel. Now going back. Coming down to the bottom, here you get the option to enable brightness slider when the notification panel is expanded or you can always show when the notification panel is even half extended. Now going back, going to buttons, going to screen torch, here you can enable double tap power button, long press power button. If you would enable long press power button, when your screen is off, if you long press on your power button, you can enable torch. Similarly, if you enable double tap power button, if you double tap the power button, the, the torch will be enabled. Going to volume rockers, here you get the option to use volume rockers to change tracks while the device is locked. 
You can also change the options that are shown by default on the audio panel. So the audio panel on this device looks something like this. This is not the only option available but you also get more two options. Now going back, going to, going to power menu, here you get general power options that you get in any other custom ROM. Now going to gestures, you get general swipe to screenshot and normal system gestures. Going to navigation bar, here you don't get any interesting stuff. Going to lock screen, here you get all the general customization options that you get in other custom ROMs like force fingerprint authentication when the device is rebooted or you can also change the status bar to display status bar on lock screen or not. Now going back, going to notifications, now scrolling down, here you get edge lighting. Here in this menu scrolling down, you get edge lighting. Going into edge lighting, you can change the color if you disable accent color by default. You can also change colors left and right different according to your reference. So here as you can see for left side I have chose green and the right side I have chose orange. Now going back, going to miscellaneous, here you get gaming mode. Gaming on this ROM is really good and if I get about 50 likes on this video, I'll make a dedicated video on gaming of this ROM. Scrolling down, you don't get any interesting stuff except the volume panel style. So now we are using titled volume panel style that looks something like this. If you change it to Oreo, the panel looks something like this. If you change it to compact, the panel looks compact and very small. Going to AOSP, it looks something like this. I like Tide, comment down which is your favorite volume style. Now going back, going to battery, considering that this is a performance oriented custom ROM, battery on this ROM is quite good and I have easily got about 4.5 hours of screen on time. I would suggest that you can install it as your daily driver on your phone as it provides best battery with best performance. So if you want to install this ROM on your device, download a file that I link in the description. Once you have downloaded it, reboot to recovery. So once you are here, make sure you go to backup and backup your custom ROM. Now go to wipe and wipe Dalby cache system and data. Backup is up to you whether you want to do it or not. So once you have wiped the previous ROM, go to the downloads where you have downloaded the ancient ROM. The name should be Ancient OS Civilization V3.9. So once you have found it, swipe and install. Now go back and reboot. You will be rebooted into Ancient OS. That's it. So if you enjoyed the video, do like, share and subscribe for more updates.